So, Libras, the overall energy of your reading, the Queen of Pentacles, all the kings and queens are very mature in their thinking. All the cards are male or female. So this is surrounding, this is what we're talking about. Uh, you have a huge pentacle and you cherish it. You, you are a grounded, stable type person. Um, you have a pentacle. You can offer it to someone if you like, if you want to be committed or being grounded with somebody. You, um, so we need to find out why this Queen of Pentacles, oh, this is Earth, by the way, so Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn may be strong in your chart or in someone else's around this reading. So let's find out why the Queen of Pentacles is surrounding your entire reading. The Strength card is the highest energy card you have in this reading. This is the... Uh, the card for Leo. Leo might be strong in your chart or someone else's around this reading. But this tells me you're going to find the strength and courage to do what you know you need to do. Now, you want to be grounded. You want to be stable. We do know that. Uh, that's where you're most comfortable. You may be thinking about someone. I don't know yet. Let's keep going on this reading. But whatever you do decide to do, uh, it's going to be the right thing, and, and it's going to take some courage. It's going to take some strength in order to do it. Part of what you need to do and you want to do is to move forward. I have the chariot, the card for cancer, right next to the strength card and right above the queen of pentacles. So, wow, um, this is all about moving forward. So you can move forward pretty fast. Uh, sometimes you just snap those reins. Those horses there can take off. But the chariot here is right next to the wheel. You have the wheel of fortune up on your highest energy line right next to the chariot. So the universe is involved. You probably feel it. You, most people say they can feel the pushing, the pulling, um, the undeniable aching like to move forward. Uh, the whispering in your ear type thing. You know? So the universe always moves you in a direction that is for your better. That's, that's why it is the wheel of fortune. So they do have a hold of the wheel here. And they're helping to navigate you uh, toward the path that you should be on. You want stability, security, and groundedness. Um, you also want success and love. And this is under the strength card. This is the Six of Wands. All those wands coming up in the background are people celebrating success, you, with someone else. That wreath right there, that can symbolize engagement. So it's a very powerful card for success and love, and that's what you're after, and that's where the will is trying to take you, okay? So just kind of go with the flow, trust your intuitions, um... Use your strength, your courage, um, if that's what it, it's going to take some. I don't know exactly why, but you uh, maybe you're just, it's hard for you to get out of your comfort zone, and maybe that's what you need to do. I have the Ace of Wands next to the Queen of Pentacles and under the wheel. There's your fresh start and your new beginning. This is just waiting for you. This is where the wheel's taking you. And I think this is where you want to go. You got the chariot right there. You're ready to move forward. You want something fresh and new and vibrant and um, grounded in your life. Oh, I have the three of cups under the eight, six of wands. There is a reunion with someone. That's where you're headed. There's going to be success in love with somebody that you probably already know. Look at two cups come together and they're poured into one. It's a beautiful, loving, celebratory reunion. And there's success and love. It's, it's right next to the King of Cups, which is a card for uh, water, Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer. And there's Cancer right there. Um, so one of those signs may be strong in someone's chart around this reading. But um, your energy is you have a huge cup of love. You have a pentacle you could offer. You have a huge cup of love you could offer. But you're not offering it. You're holding them close. You're cherishing what you know you have to offer at the moment. But the wheel, the universe, is trying to move you towards someone from uh, most of you. It's from your past. 
and it's a happy reunion. I have the Hierophant right next to the King of Cups and under the Ace of Wands, that fresh start, that new beginning. This is an Earth sign, Taurus. This is Taurus. The overall energy is Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Well, uh, the energy of this card, though, is very spiritual. It's about traditional values, traditional morals. Um, it's about security and stability and groundedness. Uh, it's that pentacle, like, blown up, okay, and huge. Uh, it's very spiritual. This is a card for marriage. Ha! You have a card for engagement, and you have a card for marriage. In the first part of this reading, the universe is trying to guide you in the right direction uh, so that you can share your pentacle and your love with somebody. But this is somebody you've known before. Now, this can be a previous life. Uh, but there's going to definitely be a, a connection, a very strong connection, if they're from a previous life, or this is someone you already have known in this life. doesn't mean you were lovers before. It means you've known them before. But it's such a happy reunion. Oh, my goodness. Let's see what else, Libras, that we need to let you know. We need one more card for this reading. Please, universe, give me the right card for this reading. One more. There, we got two, so we'll take them. All right, so I have the judgment card right next to the wheel. You know, you've been going through a spiritual lesson, and it has to do with this energy right here. There was some toxic energy around you before. I think you got away from it, um, or it's changed. Perhaps whoever is coming in has let the toxic energy go. Maybe it's the same person coming back. But what you have been through with this toxic energy was a spiritual awakening. The judgment card, your guardian angels and spirit guides blowing a horn down on you. Now, this could be, you know, how to... Some people just need to learn how to say no when it's the right time to say no or to express their feelings or... Um, it could be any number of things. But you notice there are three entities in the devil card. This is the card for Capricorn, by the way. Totally different than the energy of the card. That Capricorn might be strong in someone's chart. That's another earth sign. But um, somehow this toxic energy, and that does not allow this pentacle to come forward. Because addictions, third parties, um, exes, um, whatever it might be. Uh, they had someone toxic associated with them, which was holding the relationship back. Now, this could have been from your past, like I said, and it was a spiritual lesson for you. Well, the universe is now ready to move you forward. I have the Ten of Pentacles on the other side of the devil. There is, you can't get more pentacles. <sighs> Talk about being solid, stable, secure, grounded and committed, uh, this is what's coming in, okay? This is where you are headed. I feel like, I feel like something happened with the previous relationship here with you where things did not work out because there was an interfering party of sorts or interfering energy uh, that kept the relationship from coming together. It was a spiritual lesson for you. I think it took a lot of strength and courage for you to move forward. I think you have moved forward since then, but the will is bringing you back. It's bringing you back towards this person. Made, and, you know, they've probably been to the spiritual lesson too, the, having the devil right next to the judgment card. So whoever was toxic, uh, has probably let that energy go, but let me keep reading. I can change my mind. I have the Eight of Pentacles under the Judgment card next to the Ace of Wands. Well, one thing is you decided that you can build your own pentacles. You know, you don't have to have a toxic energy in your life to do that. <laughs> so you've been keeping your nose to the grindstone, kind of like just kind of keeping to yourself, building your pentacles, thinking about your future, and, you know, you, yourself, you look at that big pentacle. Now, that is surrounding the entire reading. You've done a lot for yourself. I think this was part of your spiritual lesson. I think you had to get ready to um, 
uh, have a relationship in your life, not a toxic one, in order to move forward. I do have the Fool next to the Eight of Pentacles and under the Devil. Now, this is fun while you're in it. So this is probably the, uh, the type of relationship that you were in before if this is a returning person from this life, even last life, uh, or, or some other life. But the Fool, it's so fun while you're in it. It is like throwing caution to the wind, living day by day, you know, bouncing along with your head in the clouds, not even giving a thought to the future until you do give a thought to the future. And that's when you come to the edge of the cliff. Both people aren't usually on the same plane at the same time. And that's when things tend to fall apart. And that might have been what happened before in this relationship. So if you can think of someone that you could reconnect with that could be could be a beautiful reconnection uh, that didn't work out before, this could be your reading. I have the Queen of Swords next to the Fool and under the Ten of Pentacles. I feel like there's questions you still have. Uh, you know, they may have just left the relationship. They might have moved. You might have been so young uh, that they just moved with their family or whatever. Um, but this is you, your energy. Well, this is Air, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. It's a, One of those can be strong in their chart, but uh, this is very strong Libra. You have your sword out, and you're speaking your truth. You're guarded. That's part of your spiritual lesson, probably, is how to look out for yourself. Don't just live in the energy of the fool. You're guarded about being uh, caught up in the energy of the fool again, because you want something grounded. You want the Ten of Pentacles. So you're going to ask the questions. You're going to speak your truth, and you're going to get the truth from them. Boy, um, yeah, so... Right next to the Hierophant and under the Eight of Pentacles, you know that you've worked really hard to achieve what you have achieved. Um, you know that you want a, a marriage. You know that you want something very solid and moving forward. You've spent time alone and you're letting these swords of truth and clarity come to you. And look at all the light that surrounds you because you're allowing these swords of truth and clarity to come to you through meditation, praying, soul searching in your quiet times. It's very healing. And I feel like you've done a lot of this uh, since you've known this person before. I have the Two of Pentacles next to the Four of Swords and under the Fool. I think you're going to have to go back into this meditation type thing or this praying or uh, soul searching for truth and clarity because when they come back in, um, you're going to be on the fence about it until you get your truth and clarity. But I do feel like they're meant to come back in for you. They're meant to come back in without the toxic energy. So you're wrestling with these pentacles on can they be committable? Can, are they, can they be available? Because there's two pentacles here. There's three people here. Um, you know, have they let the toxic energy go? That's probably your main question <laughs> right here with the Queen of Swords. So you're, you're moving forward, okay? The universe is helping you. Um, you have a lot to offer. Doesn't mean you have to give it up, right? So I have the Page of Swords next to the Two of Pentacles and under the Queen of Swords. So the Page of Swords... This is like just even moving forward with your sword out. You're not swinging it or anything. You're just paying close attention to what's being said, what's being done. And um, you're just in self-protection. Uh, nobody needs to know you have your sword out, but you do. The extra card that came out, and it is about you don't want to be on the fence anymore. You want to know what's going on. What's next to the Page of Swords is the Five of Cups. You've been very disappointed in love. You need the truth about this. Spilled cups. There's two full cups right above your head. So there's hope and love with this card. But you're going to sort through it. Look at where it falls. You've got the Queen of Swords, the Page of Swords, and then the Five of Cups. Yeah, you're going to really be seeking that truth and that clarity from whoever you're having a reunion with here. Let's find out what message we have from your guardian angels and spirit guides. 
I think it's down in here. This is the Ten of Emotion. I'm going to read it to you. Life is blessing you with a wonderful and loving family. Great happiness and emotional fulfillment are now on the horizon. Because, see, this is a beautiful reunion here. If, you know, I, don't, don't send any comments like, I will never get back with them, ever, ever, I'm done, done. Well, then this isn't your reading. I would check your moon sign. Okay. So your, your card says, uh, life is blessing you with a wonderful and loving family. Great happiness and emotional fulfillment are now on the horizon. Harmony with those you love is assured. By offering forgiveness, understanding, and kindness to others, you're rewarded with unconditional love. That must have been part of your spiritual lesson. You're always rewarded by the universe once you learn a spiritual lesson. And your reward is coming in. Wow. <laughs> That's very, very exciting and very, very nice to know what you have accomplished.